Hi, I'm Sophie from Encodian and today I'm going to be showing you how to get started with the Format by Example feature in Power Automate. So the feature's been in Power Automate for a few months now and I personally love this feature. I use it a lot as it does save me a lot of time in the day to day and making flows. So Format by Example uses AI to generate formula expressions to use within your Power Automates to change how your data looks. So you can use it with dates, strings and numbers and all you have to do is provide the original data so how your data looks before anything's done to it and the desired output and you just input these by typing in how your data looks and then typing in how you want your data to look then Power Automate will go ahead use AI and bring back the correct expression to use for your flow. Now I love this because as mentioned it is a massive time saver if I don't know the exact formula or expression I'm going to need for something rather than having to go to the blogs online you can just generate this straight from example and for the more complex expressions it's really good too if you have to combine a few in one as they can get a bit complicated it just helps uh, smooth out the process and reduces that manual trial and error when writing new expressions and you don't have to find the exact example you're looking for online. And this is great for people who are just getting started with Power Automate as well, who might not be familiar with the expression syntax because it's not going to be a massive blocker in the way. Anyone can start to generate expressions to get the data into the format that they need for their flow. So I'm going to take you through three quick examples, one for each of the data types that Format by Example works with. They are very simple examples just to show you how to start to use the tool and to give you a flavour of the things that you can start to do using this feature. So let's start with the numbers example. So this is my flow. We can see it's very simple. It's manually triggered. I have an array for new numbers and I have an array containing my original numbers. So my original numbers are each of different digits. So I've got three, two and one digit numbers. And I need to get these into all be a three digit format. So two digit numbers need one leading zero and one digit numbers need two leading zeros. And I'm gonna use the generate by example tool to do this. Now we can see that I'm in the new Power Automate designer. And unfortunately this feature hasn't been brought across just yet to the new designer, but it hopefully will be coming in the future. So I'm just gonna quickly go through and switch using this toggle here to the old designer. I'm just going to save and switch so I don't lose any changes to my flow and we can see that we've now really easily switched over to the old designer and the flow is the same, it just obviously looks the old format. So to start to use generate by example I'm going to come here to my append to array step. So this is going to append the formatted numbers to the new numbers array. And we're going to have this in and apply to each loop because we're going to apply this formula expression to all of the numbers in my original array. So to get format by example, you simply need to come to expression here and click on format data by examples. So here it lets you choose any of the dynamic content you have already available in your Power Automate. So I'm just going to go through and click to current item. Now, as you're building these out using format data, by example, your dynamic content may not appear here. I've had that happen to me a few times, but don't worry, you can still go through and just click any of these values because they'll just be a placeholder for where the data lies in the expression. And because you copy and paste the expression in anyway, you can go through and make this point to the exact bit of data that you need. So don't worry if uh, the, your piece of dynamic content isn't showing up, just click on anything and you can change it after. So I'm going to go ahead and use our current item. So this is the format data by example tool. So as I mentioned earlier, we need to provide our original values and the desired output values. So we've got three digits, so I'm going to say 111 will output as 111. So that means all of our outputs are now three digits and then I'm going to go and get the expression and really quickly using AI it's brought me back this format number expression here 
and I can even test this expression to make sure it's working okay. So I'm just going to go and test it with some numbers. So 45 to 0, 4, 5. And let's just change this to 5. And we've got 0, 0, 5. So that has worked. So then you can either use this by clicking apply, which will automatically pop it in there. Or you can copy and paste it and put it in the expression box. So like I mentioned, if your dynamic content isn't there, what you would do is you would copy and paste this and you would change this items applied to each bit here. I'm just going to go ahead and click apply. Just remove that one from there. And then let's save and run this flow and see what the output is for our new numbers array. So we can see that the flow has now run. So let's have a look at how this expression has worked in real life. So if I start from the first step, we can see we've got 165. That was already three digits. We've got 043. We've got 008. We've got 097. So we can see that each of these values, if they weren't already three digits, now all are three digits. So maybe now you can insert these values into your spreadsheet or into your database or into your system that needs a three digit number. So now let's move on to our dates example. So this is my flow. You can see it's very simple again, but this time we're actually getting real data from a SharePoint list. So we've got this pointing to the list. And my SharePoint list is a suppliers list and it contains dates for the contract start and end date. And I need to format the dates into a more reader friendly format. So when you get dates from a SharePoint list, they come back in the year dash month dash day format. So that would be in principle on screen yyy dash big m big m dash dd. But we want to change this into the GB format with date, month, year, and maybe add a slash in there just to change the format into a more user-friendly experience. So what I'm going to do is I've got an apply to each loop again, so for each value in my SharePoint list. I have one compose for the old date format, because once I run this flow, I want to compare my new format to the old format and make sure that it's working correctly. And then I'm going to add another compose as well, where we're going to format the date by example. Of course, in a real life flow, you probably would only compose the new date format and then would use the outputs of that in whatever else your flow needs to do. But just for demo purposes, I'm just going to keep it simple today. So to get back onto format by example, we click here, move to expressions and format data by examples. So we can see here we've got a lot more dynamic content because we're getting the items from SharePoint. So I'm going to go through and click, click contract start date. And it brings us to the same page where we need to provide our original examples and our desired outputs. So I'm just going to quickly enter all of this now. Okay, so my dates are all in there now, so I'm going to go through and get the expression. And we can see again, really quickly, we've got a format date time expression ready to copy and paste. But before that, I'm just going to give it a test. So we're in 2024 now, so let's do 2024.0105. And let's test this. And we can see that's brought back the 5th of January. So I'm happy with this and I'm going to go and apply it into my compose. So I'm going to then I'm going to run this flow now so we can see how it works with our SharePoint data. So the flow has run. Let's have a look at the outputs then. So there's only two items in my SharePoint list. Apologies, it's not a huge list. But we can see the old date format was the year, the month, the day. And we can see that's been swapped around to the 7th of September 2023. And then let's just check the second one. We can see here we had 2023-04-07 and this has been changed to the 7th of April 2023. So all of the data and the dates have been changed accordingly into a more user-friendly format, ready to maybe use in apps and emails to send out to people. And this is the last example I have for the video today and we'll be going through strings. So the example I have I have an empty name array where we're going to be putting our formatted string. 
and then I have an office name array. And this has been set up using an employee's name dash their department. And the reason I'm using this as an example is some organizations have names set up like this in office, where they have the employee name and then the department they work at after, but it's all saved as the name. So when you're working with this kind of data in Power Automate, you're likely going to want to trim the name up to just have the name without the department or even save the department as a different variable to use elsewhere if you need to in your flow. So we're going to have a look at how we can use format by example to do this. So like with each of the other examples today, we've got the apply to each loop. So we're going to be looping through the office name array and then appending the formatted name to just the name array. So let's go through. So we click here, expression, format data by example, and current item. And that brings us to the format data by example page. So I'm just gonna go through and copy and paste some examples into this now. Okay, so all of my names are now inputted. I've done three examples and I'm gonna go ahead and get an expression. And just to clarify, these names they're not real people, they don't work at Encodian, they're just generic names that I've made up with generic departments. So we can see here that we've now got our suggested expression, it's a trim and a split in one, so we're going to be splitting the names before the dash. So let's go through and just test, so if I test Sophie Charwood, let's just say sales, we can see it's split to just my name. So I'm going to go through and click apply again and let's run this flow and we can have a look at the outputs. So the flow has run, let's have a look at our outputs. So we can see we've got just the names of the employees and again comparing them to this array where we had the departments. So we can see that this has worked as expected and the names are now ready to use further in your Power Automate flow. So hopefully this video has shown you how you can start to use the format data by example feature within Power Automate and has given you a few little ideas of how you can start using this and implementing this into your own flows to save time and to make flow building as easy as possible. As always, if you have any questions regarding this, please leave me a comment below or get in contact with us at Encodian. And as always, happy automating.